All right, this is the second time I've set this stove up. We're gonna do it as fast as I can, but do it right. And let's go see uh, how we can get this thing going and get it warm inside this tent. It's getting down to about 20 degrees out in here at night at the Miramonte Reservoir. So I wanna get this thing warmed up. Okay, first things first, make sure you take this flap off or you won't get the stove pipe through. Roll it up and secure it here. I would wrap these little cords underneath just to make sure they don't come in contact with that hot stove pipe. All right, let's go back inside. All right, next we're going to get these heat shields down and put them about where I think they should be. Now remember, I overlap these a little bit. So I have two double ply or double, uh, double insulation underneath the stove. And then I have about a foot, foot and a half hanging out more in front of the stove. So if a spark or something comes out when I open it up, it'd be less likely to get on the tent floor itself. Now, I actually want to take it back outside to turn it upside down so I don't get any ash inside of the tent. And I had cleaned out most of the ash, but let's try to keep the tent clean. Remember, this has adjustable legs, so you can get it really even or level if you want. All right, let's go put the top on outside. All right, kind of stinks to have to bring additional things, but the step ladder is really important. Okay, before I put this up, I want to just tell you, last time I put it up and I used paracord. Do not use paracord. The paracord was melting after about six hours. It could have melted, caught on fire, damaged the top of the tent. So I went and got some really small, chain and I attached it with some clips here at both ends so I can then secure it to both ends of the tent and then down here at the ground. It just makes it a lot better if the winds really kick up or storm kicks up. It makes it a lot more sturdy. So before I put these guy wires down I'm going to secure the pipe with three screws.
All right, looks pretty straight inside, pretty straight out here. Hopefully this one will reach. It's a 10 footer. I figured it would reach. Okay, so just so you're aware, the chain that goes to the back of the tent and the one that goes to the front, those are 10 foot chains. Probably only needed eight foot on the front, but this one that's going down to the guy line or the stake here, it's a 15 foot chain and it's uh, probably about 13 feet to that stake. So just be aware of that. Well, we're all set up and ready to go. I'm ready to put wood in the stove and get it going. Sun's still up. It's about 40, 45 degrees here today. It's gonna to get cold in a minute. So what I'm gonna do, just to let you know, I have three buddy heaters with me. I have the big buddy, the portable buddy, and the little buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the portable buddy inside and get it hooked up and ready to go. So if the sun sets and I don't have the fire going in the stove, at least I'll be able to zip the tent up and have some more warmth. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up in the tent now and I'll show you how, again, I set my tent up. But this time, I'm gonna have it set up with a three inch memory foam. There's a porta potty. There's gonna be a few more things in the tent, but still it's very organized and I think you really like it. So check it out. And if you wanna see the previous setup of the tent I did before I even used it, I just did a you know setup to make sure it all worked correctly. You can check out that video right here. I set it all up, showed it to you. And I did, I did a four minute version of it. That's the one I'll have here. And it'll be in the description below. So you can see exactly how I sleep. But I'm gonna do another video of actually out here. We're gonna be out here for a week. I'm gonna show you what it's really like for a week long fishing trip, camping, and how I stay warm when it gets down to 20 degrees at night, maybe 25, still below freezing. So if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. Thanks again for joining and sticking with me to the end. I'll see you back out here in the next video.